all right it's hot it's officially hot i know it's hot in every corner of the world but well it's it's hot here too so there you go that's my excuse um i just don't want to i don't use my spotlight anymore it's just crazy so there you go that's that's less production value for you and for me and for everybody but let's go on with the um with the show anyway because it doesn't matter how i it's shot what matters is the story and boy i have a good story for you <laughs> The story here is the main act of this fantastic show which you're enjoying is that a German television station created a short animated film for kids on, on German TV. It's not national TV, it's um, um, I think it's private TV somewhere. Explaining the situation of the press in Hungary and they explained that our government Fidesz Orban Viktor whatever you want to call it tries to influence restrict it and and so on and so on and so on I think I have talked about this before uh, this is one reason be, uh, for uh, that I I put a disclaimer at the end of every show I do saying that whatever we are talking about here is completely fictitious and any resembles with reality is just a coincidence or you know, something random of course for me it's more fun than an actual than a response for an actual threat but um, um, anyway, so it represents, I think, very well how the situation in Hungary is. So, what happens now? Naturally, our government responded. As we experienced with the Hugh Grant incident, the government's action was swift and effective. They show them who's boss or something like that. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that with a straight face. It's just so silly. They actually um, put together a statement uh, claiming that this is a disgrace that it happened in Germany and they should be on death row whoever made this well not the death row but you know. our Prime Minister Orban Viktor our God our Savior our Messiah said that this couldn't have happened in Hungary because if it happened everyone involved in the project would have been fired, sacked, put to the streets. Their jobs would have taken away by the government. Should I continue? I think not. You get the idea. Well, naturally, I heard about this story um, on one of our news portals. Uh, well, I read it 
and it was such a... The fact that there was a TV show explaining the Hungarian situation correctly, might I add, because I, I have seen that uh, it was like two minutes or three, so it, the research I, I put into this wasn't that much. And um, I've seen it and I think that, yeah, it was correct. Nothing, um, nothing uh, a child would not, un nothing a child would not understand, nothing that would be considered incorrect because it was simplified for uh, for children. It's it's very well spot on, I have to tell you. So it was wasn't such a surprise, but the government's action was because it was so. It reminded me of communism, and of course I I, I, I didn't live during the communism that much, but what my what I've seen, what I saw when I was a kid, and what my parents and the films made about the communism um, showed me was exactly like this, this in thinking. That communism overreacted with anything. That didn't matter. Um, so naturally they thought, I mean, our government thought that uh, they should overreact for some reason. And of course now we are a laughing stock in German circles. Thank you. It's amazing to me how the current government resembles to the old government of the communist or to me as the socialist system. They do the same thing, things exactly. Uh, I can predict uh, their uh, reactions using communist historical examples or, or facts. So if, if I try to, I mean obviously this cartoon was um, was embarrassing mostly because they were very well spot on with the situation and the government reacted very stupidly denying all charges denying everything and a normal government would stop right here but not ours because ours is a communist government so and those who are who just joined and, and not following the show um, I'm saying that our government is a communist government because their actions are well, the actions fall into that category it's the same everything is the exact same the thing about uh, the dying capitalism um, the the um, the searching for our roots in the East, uh, denying things like oh, I just mentioned before, and on top of that, attacking, uh, doing this counterattack. And the counterattack was, in this case, that our government ordered that our national media or maybe some other TV stations or it's TV station, just one I think who is tied to the government very closely so the government ordered them to make a counter uh, animation about the German things about how our um, government works and of course it was Full of lies, a made-up story, etc. Exactly what a communist government would do.
Now, there comes the question, how could a country, a German TV station, a German citizen, react to this kind of silliness? And naturally they didn't. They tried to respect our government. They try to say that, well, okay, yeah, well, everyone is entitled to their opinion. But our government kept insisting. They wanted apologies. They wanted, um, um, you know, heads to be cut off. Which is nonsense. Because this was amongst the hundreds, I imagine, of cartoons the, that... TV station did about North Korea, about America, maybe about themselves as well. And who says that uh, German people might not have very good sense of humor, but um, I believe they have at least um, self-criticism and um, and a good. Uh, and a good view on things. I don't blame them at all, to be honest. But this is my opinion, I have to stress that. If someone criticized my country from a foreign perspective, the only thing I would care about is that they tell the truth. If they lie about it, I think and I'm not much of a patriot. Even I would be upset and want to kill them. Or at least attack their castles. But if they tell the truth, I... If they, anyone told the truth, I wouldn't have anything against it. It's fine. It's, uh, it's, my country consists of 10 million people. And I think most of them are not very well educated in politics, in economics, in, in thinking in general. And I would imagine that almost 10 million, let's say, not very well educated people would come up with a system like this, would allow a government to function like this. And naturally, there we go. I really don't have anything against it. I. I haven't told a single fact about that TV show, about that little cartoon, because it doesn't matter. You can look it up, German TV station cartoon about Hungary, I think that uh, you will find it. But this is not we are talk what we are talking about. We are talking about um, a misguided reaction, an overkill on something that is completely natural in a Western society. I imagine that Germany had a bit of a surprise. I don't think that they expected this. I think that they expected that the government wouldn't even notice such a little thing. As if uh, I wouldn't notice if only one person amongst you said that I suck with this show. It's really a disgrace to humanity and you should kill yourself. Well, there's just one person. By the way, no one has told me something like that. So it's, it's weird. When I got into the show business, I expected that there will be people who, who, who could be obsessed with me killing myself, but no, it's a nice surprise to be honest. The only way Hungary could become a true dictatorship. The only way that Orban Viktor and his friends uh, could finish what they started is if we were out of the European Union. 
and like I told you before, we're not gonna be out soon or ever because it's in nobody's interest. So people of the people of Hungary like ideological things, like uh, cult thinking. When there is a person who is in charge, like a CEO, and and that person will tell us. And that person will rearrange the market however he sees fit. And that person will give us goals. Will give us goals. But will not teach us proper grammar, I think. And that person, we mention him by name. He is our savior, he is our messiah, he is our king. This is a thousand year old custom in Hungary. It, our democracy is not very old. Our democracy is, is much more flawed than any other nations. In the US they complain about um, the government spying on people and they, they think that their country is going in the wrong direction. Well, I don't mean to complain, but we are already in that place. So, what you can do is basically join the club, which would be nice because I like, first of all, I like meeting new people. Second of all, I think everyone deserves um, to be shown how living is possible on a, on a slightly or not so slightly lower level when your every thoughts almost every thoughts are about daily income and when I say daily income I do not wish to exaggerate that's not why I'm here I don't want you to think that this, however unbelievable, does not happen daily. Because I hear it from my parents, I hear it from my friends, and even I think like that. There is only one thing left. And it is a very strange thing. The question here is that why Orban Viktor reacts in a communist way. Since he was among the ones who initiated the revolution or the change in the system. And I don't have to answer that. He did it. He's not very smart, you know. And at at some celebration or whatever, in one of his speeches he told us that he wasn't fighting against the system, he was fighting against the people running the system. Well there you go, I have no comment on that, I think it speaks for itself. Thank you very much for watching.